I'm Johnny Scoville, and this is Chase the Heat. Playing with the shadows. Tree Hugging Buddhist. Big shout out to the Tree Hugging Buddhist. Uh, made a great suggestion. I'm going to read it to you because I thought it was great. And that's what we're going to do today. I know you have a lot on your plate. Uh, I'm under the gondola, so let's move in the shadows. Uh, I know you have a lot on your plate right now, but would love it if you would do a pepperology video on your on the fav uh, your favorite beginner hot sauces. I'd love to support the amazing pepper uh, <clears throat> producing people you review, but for the most part, the heat factor is out of my league. So I am going to do that tree hugging Buddhist. Uh, what I'm going to do is this: I'm not going to do my ten favorite. Because the truth of the matter is, uh, I, what I got is a list of the 10 most popular in the country. And the reason I went with this list, uh, it's because um, they're readily available. I like almost all of them. I really do. I, 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 none of them would make it on my list of top 10. Now, I, I, I still like them. Some of them I like passionately. You'll see in a minute. But what we're going to do today, and this is perfect for, sorry for the shadows, but it's the nature of the gondola. Uh, the, uh, this is a good thing. Well, I, you know, this is a good starting point. It's got, um, the sauces I'm going to reveal, we'll do from the 10, moving up, to, and we'll end at number one. I'm going to tell you what the Scoville ratings are, all right? But these are sauces that are readily available that you can get. Um, and some of the, and you'll see that some of them are, are much warmer than others. All right, we're going to get started. Great suggestion, Tree Hugging Buddhist. The first one is Crystal Hot Sauce. And that, I, I knew this wouldn't work. All right, Crystal, sorry. Can't see the picture because it's not going to be able to. I wonder if it would work if I did it this way. Let's see if this will work. Yes, it will. All right. There is Crystal. All right, people? We're going to use that. Robbie, Robbie Vision. I love you, Robbie. Crystal is number 10 on the list, okay? Uh, but it's first for spice. Crystal, this is the hottest in the list, okay? This has a Scoville heat unit of 4,000 Scoville heat units, all right, for Crystal. The fiery condiment is new to the roundup this year, bumping Heinz off the roster. Um... We have more on that uh, from a trend expert in a minute. So I guess we're going to come back to that. Crystal. Uh, and this is their, by the way, this isn't just Crystal. That's their Crystal Extra Hot. All right. Now, the next on the list is going to be their Valentina. All right. And there is Valentina hot sauce. Okay. I hope you guys can see that pretty good. All right. That's Valentina. Uh, this Mexican hot sauce has a secret blend of some simple ingredients like water, chili pepper, salt, vinegar, and spices. And this ranks in there at 900 Scoville heat units. Uh, it's a middle-of-the-road flavor bomb that many adore. I Now, I do like Crystal. I do. I do like Valentina. I've, I've consumed a bunch of it. Um, and that's number nine on the list. Okay, now the next, um, and a lot of these, I'll read this label first and then I'll show you. Uh, this one is Louisiana, okay? It's the name of that sauce, uh, Louisiana hot sauce. Now, it happens that this is the name of this sauce brand, but it's also the name, it's, it's a style of sauce, Louisiana style sauce, okay? Now, Louisiana style sauce, a, a, a lot of the sauces on this list are a Louisiana sauce or, or a slight variation of that. Crystal's a Louisiana hot sauce, okay? Um, Crystal is Valentina, not so much. Uh, Louisiana, absolutely. Uh, and this is a funny one. Uh, is this the one This is uh, Made with aged red peppers and a blend of spices, this bottle delivers a, dis a distinct Louisiana taste that packs a flavorful 450 Scoville heat units uh, to complement a variety of dishes from gumbo to jambalaya uh, to sweet and spicy wings. All right, so that's another great sauce. Uh, this one is from Bur Bur uh, Berman. Uh, it says hot sauce. This is also Louisiana style hot sauce, okay? And this is Berman. And this is uh, what 
number is this? Number seven on the list. That's Berman's. And if it looks a lot like, uh, if that looks um, a lot to you like uh, Frank's, it's because it's a Frank's knockoff. Uh, Aldi fans clearly throw down for Berman's as their hot sauce of choice. We wouldn't find it. We couldn't find an SHU for this one, okay? But since it seems to be essentially a Frank's, we can assume it's similar on the heat scale. The ingredients are almost identical. All right, aged cayenne peppers, distilled vinegar, salt, xanthan gum. But that's here's in defense of Berman's. That those are the ingredients in a Louisiana style sauce. Crystals. Those are the ingredients. Tabasco, those are the ingredients, okay? So, but this is just a straight knockoff. The label looks similar. Yeah, it is what it is, people. Uh, Nick, uh, let's see, so that was uh, seven and six on the list is Tabasco, okay? Now, there you go, it's Tabasco original, all right? Now, Tabasco uh, is for just a ton of people, it was a gateway sauce, especially older people. Younger people, not so much. People my age, you betcha, because there wasn't a lot around back then. So you had what you had. So we fell in love with what we could, what we could get our hands on. Uh, Tabasco, when I think of hot sauce, I think of Tabasco. Remember I said at the beginning that none of these really would make my top 10 list, but I'm passionate about some. This is one of, this is what I was thinking about when I said that, I am passionate about Tabasco. When I think of hot sauce, I think of Tabasco, this iconic accoutrement. Um, I'm not sure if that's the proper word for this. I don't know if accoutrement is, fits. Accoutrement is like equipment, is like, like, I have to look it up. I don't think that fits here though. The iconic uh, sauce, that works better, has been peppering fried chicken soups, uh, dips, and breakfast sandwiches since 1868. Wrap your dome piece around that one. Uh, it's made from aged red pepper, salt, vinegar. It delivers a simple yet bold 2,500 Scoville heat units uh, that is cherished by enthusiasts. Ask anybody in New Mexico and Hawaii. Forget that. Ask anybody anywhere. Do you know in schools, in grade schools, it's on the tables. I mean, it's just, it's a, it's a sta it's staple stuff here, people. Tapatio is up next, you guys. This is another, another Louisiana style sauce. Tapatio, all right. Um, with this one comes in at 3,000 Scoville heat units, so it's warmer than a bunch of the others. It's a combination of spicy peppers, tangy citrus, and savory spices. Tapatio adds a delightful kick to a variety of dishes. I guess this is not quite a Louisiana, but it's an offshoot, like a variation of. Uh, Tapatio adds a delightful kick to a variety of dishes, making it a staple in many kitchens, especially on the West Coast. And a favorite on this list. So we're at 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. We are 4, 3, 2, 1. We're at 4. Yeah, we are at 4. And this is another absolute classic Louisiana hot sauce recipe. Texas Pete's. Okay? Texas Pete's. Uh, Texas Pete is a classic go-to. That has been enchanting taste buds for decades. Especially in the South. Probably Texas, right? See the connection there? Um, with its medium 750 Scoville heat units, um, intensely and tangy vinegar base, this hot sauce adds a zesty and flavorful punch. Now, good time to bring that up since they said it. All Louisiana hot sauces are vinegar based. So sometimes people are like, oh, it tastes like vinegar. You know, I love vinegar based sauces. I love Louisiana style hot sauce. I do. Because, um, you know, that was what I uh, first got. That's what bit me, gave me the bug. So, anyway, that's number four, Texas Pete. Whew, that's a, a cardinal. It's a male cardinal. Getting on it, isn't he? Making his presence known. Good job, dude. All right, so next, uh, what is this, three? Three, two, one. Yeah, this is th uh, third on the list. Uh, this is Cholula. This is the second spiciest of the sauces on this scale. So as you're kind of hearing me do this, you're kind of, you you know what certain sauces, if you already have some, you can kind of base that. So, but this is uh, 3,600. Second uh, only to uh, Crystal, the first one we read. So this is 3,600, uh, but third on the list. 
Uh, it's the original Cholula. It's a tried and true condiment. Uh, thanks to its signature mix of Arbol and Bikin pepper, salt, vinegar, garlic powder, spices, and more. This is the bottle I often, uh, I see most often out to eat on restaurant tables. It's a popular one. Um, I kind of just dig the wooden top on it. Did I show you the Cholula yet? If I didn't, here's the Cholula, thanks to Robbie Vision. There's Cholula, people. Okay. And notice the wooden uh, top. It's kind of cool. These don't need to be refrigerated because they're Louise, they're they're vinegar based. They don't, you know, you don't need to worry about that. Two on the, by the way, use a good word. They said it's a condiment. So a lot of these, like the uh, Cholula kind of really rides the edge of a hot sauce and a condiment. Here's a, a so the, it's a good time to bring that up. Here is a sauce that uh, some people are absolutely in love with. You love it or you hate it. And a lot of people love it and kind of outgrow it. It is what it is. This is Sriracha. Sriracha is a fan, has a fan base like no other. This condiment is, is a condiment. I do not see this as a hot sauce, right? It's like ketchup. It's a condiment. To me, my, my own opinion. The condiment is a blend of chili, sugar, salt, garlic, distilled vinegar, and more with a Scoville unit of 2,200. I'll just keep my head right here. I'll try to do that. 2,200. It's spicier than some, but not at the top of the scale for a wonderfully balanced heat. Sriracha is so beloved that we have several recipes that highlight the hot sauce. Yada, yada. Uh, and number one on the list, it is Frank's Red Hot. All right, so it's tangy and a bit buttery in flavor. I don't get the buttery. I don't get the buttery. Uh, Frank's taste uh, takes the top spot, stealing number one from Sriracha this year. Its mass appeal may be due to the fact that it's one of the more mild condiments on the list. In fact, it's tied with Louisiana for the lowest, least spicy at only 450. It's a very, very easy, anybody can eat this. You can put it on anything, right? Uh, Frank's is my personal go-to. Whatever, sorry. I don't mind if you, I don't look down my nose at it. I just, you know, I, it is what it is. It's somebody's go-to, it's a lot of people's go-to. Um, it's a starter. It's a, you know a lot of these are a lot of these are gateway sauces. All right, these are gateway sauces. You know why? Because they're readily available. They're, none of them are expensive. Uh, you can get them pretty much anywhere, and they're they're all really manageable. Even the hotter ones, even even Crystal, extra hot. This is the number one. The first one we read, four thousand Scoville units, super manageable. Anybody can eat that. So those are the top ten most in the United States for sales. All right, so that's going to give an idea of what people are eating. Now, good time to talk about this. Um, hot sauce, it's kind of like, um, I don't drink anymore. Two days, was it yesterday? Yesterday, I celebrated. Yeah, yesterday I celebrated. That's right behind my head. Yesterday I celebrated my five-year anniversary of not drinking anymore, okay? But... Um, to use beer as an analogy, it's a good one. You know what I mean? If you if you go back like 20 years ago, maybe even 30 years ago, that's really when small bat craft brewers started to rise. All right, before there was nothing but big, you know, mass produced stuff. All right, so and what happened is people started to realize that you know, if you want to get beer in a hurry, you stop at a gas station on the way home and just, or whatever. You know what I mean? But if you want a good beer. They aren't going to get it in a big box store. You're going to get the, a, a small craft brewery. Is the beer is so much better than anything you're going to buy that's mass produced. All right, it's, that, it's kind of the way it is. You know what I mean? And even now, even now, you can, you, can, you know, there are some, you know, well, they've crossed over. You know what I mean? But if you know a small, like a, just a, a brewery, you're going to get great beer there. Sauce is the same way. You can get all the ten, uh, the ten different sauces I just we just covered. They're all super readily available, but they all sell like they all they probably sell you know a couple hundred thousand bottles a day. So you know the upper ones like Sriracha and Franks, they sell you know half a million bottles a day. Wrap your head around that. I mean they're making it nonstop. They're making it 24/7. They don't stop making it. It's crazy. Um, but if you compare the taste of any of these that I just read that we covered on that list and you compare it to some of the small batch sauce makers that I re review here a lot, you cannot compare them. It's just true. You can't. They can't. Now, 
it's I caution you though. It's one one of the, this is a pepperology video. So I, something that happens to brand new chili heads a lot. You know what? I'm sick of the shadow. It's driving me nuts. One thing that happens to brand new chili heads. And I'm only bringing it up as a cautionary thing, like don't let it happen to you, because it does happen to tons of chili heads. What will happen is you'll, you know, you didn't even know the world existed, and then you find it, and you're like, wow, you realize that there are all these amazing sauces at your disposal. You can get all these crazy things, and when you start getting the first time you get a small craft sauce, insert the brand, it doesn't matter which one first time you get your first small batch of sauce, what happens is it kind of opens your eyes up, your taste buds and your mind to what's really out there. And what can happen is we can become sauce snobs, you know what I mean? And say like, like I've seen it a million times. Oh, it's garbage. Listen, I, like, like when people say that Tabasco is garbage, to some it may be, to me it's sure not made a post today on Instagram about a different product and uh, one of the comments was it's hot but the, fl it, the flavor leaves something to be desired this is an award-winning sauce and I said not with me but that people that's the beauty of not just and this is my response to him on Instagram that's the beauty of not just the hot sauce spicy world not just sauce but the spice world but that's the beauty of our journey of life is that we all like different stuff. Listen, if every single one of us liked exactly the same things, can you imagine how horrifically boring life would be? How mundane and just, you need a pair of shoes, you go buy a pair of shoes, it'd be one pair, because we all like the same types. You know what I mean, it'd be one car, it'd be one style home. Can you imagine if we all just liked the same stuff, it'd be, oh, it's a nightmare. So we all like different things. So as you start, playing with these different sauces just uh, with small craft stuff just be careful that you don't kind of don't let it change you because there are still great sauces on that list of top 10 there's only one really that's in my favorites and that's tabasco but every i've emptied bottles like there's not one on that list that i haven't emptied a half a dozen bottles of okay so i've eaten plenty of them so i'm not looking down my nose at any of them but t right now the only one on that list that i'm really passionate about is is Tabasco. But here's the thing, if I ended up on a desert island and there was like nothing and you know, I'm eating, you know, figure out some food source, but like a, a big giant pallet, wooden pallet floats up on the beach and I got no sauce at all and I open them up and it's any one. Let's say the whole pallet's the exact same sauce, the pa whole pallet full. It didn't matter which of those 10 that we covered in today's video, if, it, if one of those 10 were in that, it would be a happy day, right? So don't be a sauce snob, but, but go out there and explore. You know, these are good starting, uh, tree hugging Buddhist. Thank you for the suggestion. Great starting point. You can, you, you can go back if you want, as you, I should have said at the very beginning, write down the, the names and the SHUs of these sauces. So you can start small, start working your way up when you get to crystal and you're like, I'm ready for some more. Yeah. But anyway, if you, if you have any suggestions, you guys want more pepperology, you have other things you want me to cover, please let me know. I'll be happy to do it because we're all doing this together. And you guys are going to be eating peppers with me this year. I can feel it. Sorry for the shadows. I just didn't want to set them. I got to start putting sunscreen on. Anyway, in the description box, all the normal stuff right here. My son right there. My bro right there. Challenges right there. Pepperology for all of you. I love you guys. I'm Johnny Scoville and this... This was Chase the Heat.